안녕하세요. I'm An Cha Ki, your host for Let's Speak Korean. And with us as usual is Ji Seung Hyun 선생님. 안녕하세요. Ji Seung Hyun입니다. Well, I hope you will have another enjoyable lesson with us. I hope so too. Now, in our last lesson, we learned how to ask for a certain number of things. The expression was the number followed by 개 주세요. Right? In this edition, we're going to learn how to ask and answer questions about how much something is. Let's turn to the video clip. <laughs> All right, Michael has bought some apples and bread. Now, one apple costs 1,000 won, and he bought five of them. Now, he also bought some bread, and the total came out to 10,000 won. So, well, then it's time now to turn to what we'll be learning in this lesson. Just state the amount before the phrase won ye yo. Now won, as you may already know, is the unit of Korean currency. And all you have to do is add the words ye yo to express how much something costs. Let's begin by learning some new words and numbers. Let's follow after 선생님. 10 10 100 100 Ton, ton, man, man, one, one, alma, alma. Alma, eh? 천원이에요. 전부 얼마예요? 만원이에요. Remember, we learned how to count up to ten in Korean in our previous lesson. They were 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, and so on. But there are two different ways of counting in Korean. One is based on the Korean words, and the other is based on Chinese words. And they go something like 일, 이, 삼, 사, and so on. Now, we are going to be learning 십, 백, 천, and 만, which are based on the Chinese words like 일, 이, 삼, 사, and so on. Now, the numbers based on the Chinese words are what we use to count numbers and what we use to state the price of something. Now, shall we get some practice? 십, 십, 백, 백, 천, 천, 만, Man. Almeo. Sononio. Tombo, Almeo. Manonio. Now you may have noticed in the conversation that we just saw that it contains the expression. Ton won for 1,000 won and man won for 10,000 won. Now, the price of this thing is 1,000 won, for instance, would be ton won ye yo. Right? And the price of this thing is 10,000 won would be man won ye yo. Okay, so when you add the phrase won ye yo after the price of something, it states how much that thing is. Now, as you remember, we said the word for 10 was yol, and in our last lesson, but in counting money, we don't say yol won, we say shibwan, 
right? Uh, the correct expression is 시범. Don't forget that. Now then, let's go through the drill exercise with the 선생님. 시범이에요. 시범이에요. 백원이에요. 백원이에요. 천원이에요. 천원이에요. 만원이에요. 만원이에요. Now the 선생님 and I are going to go over the exercise together to ask and answer questions about how much something is. Now, please listen carefully. 얼마예요? 얼마예요? Okay, let me try it. 얼마예요? 10원이에요. 얼마예요? 100원이에요. 얼마예요? 1000원이에요. 얼마예요? 만원이에요. There's something new in the expression that we're going to hear. Now, in the video clip, Michael asked the shop assistant whether the apples are tasty. Now, how would we say this expression? The expression is, 맛있어요? 맛있어요? And, of course, the assistant says that they are tasty. Now, he wouldn't say that they're not, or else they wouldn't sell, right? Well, he doesn't just say that they are tasty. He actually says that they are very tasty. Now, what is that in Korean? 아주 맛있어요. 아주 맛있어요. Yes, that's right. Aju means very, so it means that the apples are really delicious. Now, after Michael has picked out everything he wants to buy, he asks the shop assistant how much his purchase totals. Now, how much is everything, and what is it in Korean? 전부 얼마예요? 전부 얼마예요? 전부 here means everything, so it's asking for the total for all the things that Michael has bought. Now, it's time to get a wrap-up of what we've learned so far. Let's go to the video and please follow along one by one.